Hello, gang. Yes. I'm in the kitchen. Well, it's not the bedroom. It's not out, not out back. It's, it's the kitchen. You know, we have things like loud ovens. Can you hear that? It's loud because we're going to do a little cooking in the oven. Now, look, um, I put out calls to you guys to say, hey, give me some family recipes. And I got a great one for you today. Now, this takes a little bit of storytelling here. Uh, this is from my buddy, Chris. Chris and I used to work together, uh, oh gosh, late 90s, early 2000s. And back then, I worked on the Miss America pageant that I started as an editor, then was segment director. I ended up directing the whole damn thing for... I don't know, four or five years. But anyway, around 1999, 2000, somewhere around in there, we took all the contestants to Disney World in Orlando, and Chris worked for Disney. Here's a picture of us on that stinking Tower of Terror thing, you know, where the elevator drops like 10 stories and your stomach flies up to the moon. But look at this, that's Chris over there on the far right. Right next to him are two of our producers, that's Ben and Mick. On the other side over there, that's Gloria, she's a producer, next to her, is Carrie Ann Inaba. Yes, the famous Carrie Ann Inaba from Dancing with the Stars and I don't know, that talk show that she's on. Before she was famous, she was choreographer and she choreographed part of the Miss America pageants. So that's why she's there. Next to her is Jerry and that she's a production manager. And then there's me. Take a look hard at me. Look at me. That's me with hair. That's me skinny. And that's me obviously trying to figure out how to work a camera. <laughs> because the whole elevator fell and I never even got the camera turned on. I've been fooling them for decades, for decades, and yet they keep hiring me. I don't know why. Anyway, this, that, that long story to get to, Chris's mom, Nancy, who is no longer with us, made an incredible mac and cheese. And today we're gonna do that. Here's a picture of Chris and Nancy, it's lovely. Here's another one of Nancy, look at her, look at her. She's got her hands all over Joe Namath. Gotta love that. Any woman who puts her hands all over Broadway Joe can make my mac and cheese any day. Okay, so let's make Nancy's mac and cheese. Okay, we're back. So we got you. I just asked my assistant Brianna, who's in her mid-20s, do you know who Joe Namath is? She goes, no. Really? Really? All right. Now, Nancy w went rogue with this one. Normally, you know, you, you put your elbow macaroni and you, you put it in there like pasta and, and, and water and then you make your cheese sauce and then you marry them together. None of that stuff for Nancy. She threw it all in a blender. Yes, a blender. Unbelievable. I'm telling you, I'm liking Nancy. We're gonna start with two cups of milk. So we'll put her right in here. And we're gonna get a couple of tablespoons of butter. Right in the pool. And here's another weird one, Nancy. Cottage cheese. We're gonna take it right out of the old tub here. We're gonna put in a cup right into the pool. I have never heard of cottage cheese in something like this, so this will be interesting. But I'm excited about it. So the recipe calls for one pound of sharp cheddar, and these are eight ounce slabs. But I'm gonna reserve half of this to shred and put on top at the end because we want that nice cheese top on the mac and cheese. Anyway, so let's just cut these up into chunks and throw them in the blender. Okay, into the pool. Try not to splash yourself when you're jumping into the pool or throwing them into the pool rather. There we go, okay. Time to blend this bad boy. All right, there we go. Now, first time I did this, I hit the puree button on this sucker. And it, I mean, it did a good job. It, you know, whipped everything together. But when I blend it, there's still tiny, teeny tiny chunks of sharp cheddar cheese in the liquid. And I like that more. So we're just gonna pour it in right here. There you go. So you can kind of see the chunks of cheese that are in there. Well, not chunks, just little, little itty bitty pieces of the sharp cheddar in with the mixture. Now we're gonna season it. A little cayenne, cause Nancy's hot. Just a pinch. Mustard powder. 
And like every mac and cheese recipe, a little bit of nutmeg. And of course, S&P, just a pinch. All right, let's stir this sucker up. All right, time to add the star of the show, of course. Elbow macaroni, baby. This is a pound, obviously. We're going to put a half pound, so half of the box. Just right in. Straight in. We're not going to boil it. We're not going to get it all soft. We're just as is, right into the bowl. That's about half right there. And we'll just mix it in just like this. Okay, so got my Pyrex casserole dish, whatever you call this thing. And yes, I uh, grease the bottom so nothing will stick. And we're just going to pour our lovely mac and cheese concoction right in, just like that. Then just kind of make sure it's all spread around. And then. We're going to cover it nice and tight, just like that. And then into the oven, 375 for 30 minutes. Now, while we're waiting, let's shred this cheese. If you guys don't have one of these, you can wear it as a hat. Uh, if you don't have one of these, these are great because you can shred any size, obviously, and then you can put it down right in the bowl, just like that, shred away, and then when you pop it up, there's the cheese. Okay, I never know what to do with this one little piece that's left because you don't want to continue doing it because you'll scrape your fingers off. So I just eat it, usually. Hmm. Anyway, watch this. Voila, a beautiful mound of cheese. Oh, a little waff smell of cheese just hit me, hit me. That was beautiful. Woo! Okay, I'm gonna take the aluminum foil off carefully because it's hot. Ay, 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 ay. And we see, oh, oh, Lord, that smells good. And what we're going to do is we're just going to move things around, you know, right? Just make sure everything, nothing's sticking to each other and just kind of stir it gently. A lot of times the noodles get stuck to the side. We don't want that. You can see the noodles are well on their way to being halfway done, approximately. And then, of course, Spread that cheese love. And we just want to do it right all over the top, just like this. Okay, now, back in. Okay, so it's been another 30 minutes. I just peeked at it. It looks amazing. Let's get it. Here we go. And of course, the smell is outrageous because it's mac and cheese. Mac and cheese always smells amazing. Look at this, folks. This is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ah, just the perfect amount of cheese crust, if that's what you call it. I don't know what you call it. And you see it bubbling around the sides. Taking my daughter's favorite bowls. She loves these bowls. I don't know why. They're all different kinds of colors, and she loves them. All right, Nancy, this is for you, girl. Let's see how we do. Oh, 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 oh. You can see the cottage cheese in there a little bit. Oh, take a look at that, folks. Nancy knew what she was doing. Now, for Nancy and all her family. To you, Chris. Yeah. 
Heck yeah. Wow. Well, I'm just telling you right now, last week we tried this out, me and my wife, and we sat here and we ate the whole darn thing. <laughs> like the entire bowl. Because it's just so good. Comfort food galore. And you saw how easy it was to make. Throw it all in the blender, mix it all up, put it in the oven, and you, one hour later you're good. This is delicious. Oh, just spank me now and put me to bed. Wow. All right. I'm going to cheese my way out of here. Please hit the subscribe button. You know what to do. Turn on your notifications and send me more family recipes because this is about love, right? Nancy made this with love. And Chris remembers it because he loves his mother, right? So recipes are about love and family. So send me some more. Talk to you later.